How's it going, man? Pretty good. How you doing? Doing well. Got a few bats here from Louisville Slugger. So we have four Louisville Slugger model bats. The top three here are all player editions from Louisville Slugger with Christian Yelich, Cody Bellinger, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And as you can see, the bottom one there is signed by the great Bo Jackson. Yeah, Louisville Slugger is the bat maker for the MLB, and they've been making the bats for a very long time, and not only do they make them for the MLB, they make them for recreational baseball play and little league and uh, minor league and everything. Yeah. So when it comes to baseball bats, Louisville Slugger is like the best bat. Absolutely. It's kind of not arguable. Yeah. And it's pretty cool to see this here in front of me. I do see Bo Jackson signed right here. Did Bo Jackson actually use this bat? No, this one is not game used. It is a signed model bat. OK, well, Bo Jackson is the athlete of all athletes. I mean, he played baseball and yep. football at a top level. Yep. I mean, he played both of the games better than most people play a single game. He played them simultaneously. So how did you get these bats? So the Bo Jackson, obviously the best one out of all of them, was actually a gift to me because I collect bats. Somebody gave me that one. The top three have a little more sentimental value because I actually used to work at Louisville Slugger, and I just thought they were really special. So, so I heard you can customize your own bats at Louisville Slugger. Is that true? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can get your name on them, all types of colors, different things in their custom shop. You can get names and colors on them? Yes. Maybe I'll have to check it out. Yeah. So how much are you looking to get for the bats? So for the player editions, probably 200 a piece. Okay. And then for the Bo Jackson, 300. So 900 for the whole lot? Yeah, that would work for me. OK. Um, I'm really interested in the Bo Jackson bat, but I need to have this autograph authenticated. Okay. Lucky for us, my autograph expert is here today. So hang out right here for a minute. I'm going to go grab them. Perfect. Sounds good. All right. So the legend of Bo Jackson is really something else. And really, when you get down to it, he's one of the most exciting players in, in all sports ever. He was a tough guy to get an autograph from, but obviously one of the great players of the game. So tell me a little bit about the history of the bat, the provenance, where it came from. Somebody gave it to me as a gift for my collection, and it's just something I've been looking to move recently. Well, Chum, let's have a look at it. Thank you. And I'm just going to take an, a loop on here just so I can see. And that's in fiber tip marker. Nice overlapping on there. So we're thinking this is the real thing? Absolutely, yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, it's really a nice model bat of his. Um, perfect signature, and the bat's in great shape. What kind of value would you put on it? This is just a game model bat that was manufactured, made, and then he signed for somebody. So this value, Chumley, is about $300. OK. Well, that's exactly what he's asking for. So maybe we can work out a deal here. Awesome. Perfect. Good All to right. see you. Thank you. Yep, I'll talk Thank to you. you. All right, well, after hearing everything Steve had to say, um, he values the bat at 300. That's what you're asking for it. I'm going to need to make a profit on it, though. Um, would you take 150 for it? Probably couldn't do 150. If, I, if you could come up to two, I'd feel comfortable with that. I'll make a deal on the Bo Jackson bat for 200, and I'll just let you keep the other bats. Sounds good. Appreciate the deal. All right, thank you. Chum! What's up, guys? What's up? What are we doing? Louisville was great. It's time to close it out with a bang. I thought maybe we could do a little home run derby. I've got our bats here. I've got a pitcher on the field. I doubt any of us can hit a home run, but it should be fun. I mean, if anyone can do it, you can, Rick. Um, I don't know. I mean, it might happen. You guys want to go check out the field? Sure. <laughs> Babe Ruth was a big guy. Here we go. I had jerseys and hats made as well. Oh, you look pretty all out, Chum. And I probably paid for these, correct? No, the pawn shop did. <laughs> I mean, I look like a real baseball player. You look like a third base coach. It definitely looks like a baseball manager. You know what? Let's see what happens when we put these bats in action. All right, what do you guys think? Did I do a good job on your bats? Number one pawn broker. A big hoss. I like it. You are a big hoss. And what is yours? The Harrison Crusher. OK. We each get five pitches. Whoever hits the ball the farthest wins. Hopefully, one of us will be able to hit a home run. All right. Sounds good to me. Get down there and show us what you got. All right, guys, let me show you how this is done. All right, here we go. It's been a while. Blah. One. Practice swing. Blah. Two. Blah. Three. Blah. Four. There you go. All right, it wasn't bad. You almost made it as far as the pitcher's mound. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Looks like I might win this. There you go, Big Hoss is winning. All right, hold my hat for me, Big Hoss. All right, let's see how Chubb does. Hey, batter, batter, batter. Chum, don't hurt yourself, buddy. Oh, 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 I think he might have beat you, son. I think he just did. All right, nice job, pitcher, nice job. If I don't have a career as a baseball player, I think I got one as a bat boy. Well, thank God I'm a pawn broker. <laughs> Let's go. That was a lot harder than it looks. 